store at the Dell About a roach named Rube with a high-tech shell Caught the trap late one night he Got away fast, but he didn't feel right Nowhere to hide, so he started to run The span of a swat He's got a chip on his butt He's the roach with the most Ruffle roach He don't like the boast Ruffle roach But like his brother Reg He's got all the edge Ruffle roach and Reg Exciting, Reg. The centipedes racing around the track, the tiny little jockeys in their cute silky garments, the roar of the crowd. <laughs> and in our new careers as stable bugs, we're right in the thick of it, Reg. Yeah, this is a great career move. <laughs> That's the spirit, Reg. Now, back to shoveling this huge pile of dung. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting a cold, Big Brother? I'm not getting a cold. <laughs> I'm allergic to this stupid centipede. <laughs> oh, Reg, there's no such thing as an allergy to centipedes, silly. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm... then what am I? Why am I? How come I? Sorry, Reg, but can you speak a little clearer? Knock it off, will ya? Now those jockeys, they've got it good. That's the job <laughs> for me. If only I was short. Tony, I paid a handsome price for Thunder Guts here. Her bloodlines are impeccable. It's not her breeding that's the problem, Mr. Uberbucks. It's her, well, personality. Oh, in what sense? Well, in the sense that she's absolutely the most dangerous thoroughbred centipede any of us has ever come across. Yes, sir. Are you saying that jockeys are afraid of her? <laughs> yes, sir. None of them will ride Thunderguts. <laughs> I see. Well, in order to make certain that I recoup my investment and make a tidy little profit to boot, we'll have to want to ride her, won't we? To that end, we shall require someone who is not only physically diminutive, like a jockey, but someone whose mental capacities are extraordinarily petite as well. Like a dumb jockey? Precisely. But where on earth will we find someone with this exact combination of characteristics? <laughs> This certainly is our lucky day, isn't it, Reg? Not only does Sterling Uberbucks need you to be a jockey, he also needs me to be a trainer. You mean this stupid centipede isn't trained yet? <laughs> Oh, God, Reg! It's not the centipede who needs to be trained. It's you! What the heck is that thing? Oh, it's the very latest in jockey training technology, Reg. A mechanical centipede. You don't expect me to get on... Wow! Don't worry, Reg. That elastic band will prevent you from being thrown off and severely injuring yourself. Thrown off? Wow! 
Now, Red, we have to practice speaking to the centipede in soft, loving tones. That will keep it calm and cooperative. Ooh, such a pretty centipede. Now you're getting the hang of it, Reg. Vertically and mentally challenged. I can spot talent a mile away. Now, remember your training, Reg. If you know what's good for you, you're gonna win this race, you smelly old bag of bug bones. Just remember who's boss, and we'll all get along just fine. That's not quite right, Reg. Such a cop shoot! Shoot! sneezes seem to make Thunderguts react more and more violently. And run faster and faster! Isn't that something? <laughs> Congratulations, Reg! You won! Oh, such a good... Son. Uh, Experiencing more success than we might ever have imagined. Yeah, don't forget the uh, money. And we're raking in obscene amounts of money. But I'm more concerned about your health. I'm beginning to think that maybe you are allergic. Here, blow. <laughs> Never mind my health. Today's the biggest race of the year, the Vexburg Open. That's why we're betting all our money on me, I tells you. All of it. Are you sure that's wise, Reg? Wise? <laughs> when have I ever worried about wisdom? I suppose you have a point there, Reg. This is gonna be our biggest score ever, Rube. That's nice, Reg. Here, try some of this herbal tea. It'll open up your sinuses. <laughs> Fresh cup? All I gotta do is win this one last race, cash in the winning ticket, and you and me can retire filthy rich. You did get the ticket, didn't you, Rube? I sure did, Reg. And you bet everything, the whole enchilada? Yep, I bet one whole penny. One whole... Ah! Huh? Oh, I hope I didn't go overboard. Out of my way, out of my way! I want to bet it all to win! No, no, no. They're at the post! Reg, you just made it! They're about to start. Oh, by the way, Thunderguts doesn't seem to be quite herself. Would you be quiet, Ruby? I gotta work on my biggest sneeze ever. I can't, I can't do it. Ruby, Ruby, I can't sneeze. Oh, I'll bet my herbal tea cured you, Reg. Isn't that something? I need a sneeze! Why, it looks as if Thunderguts is allergic now, Reg. Isn't that something? It looks as if she's afraid of her own sneezes. They're all afraid of her sneezes. Isn't that something? You got the ticket? Yes, sir. I bet an entire handful of million dollar bills on number 16. 16! 16! 16! We did it! We won, I tells you! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Number 91, Thunder Guts. Wait a minute. What do you mean, number 91? I'm number 16. Y you know, Reg, I, I think maybe I accidentally pinned your number on upside down. Ah. What do you... Oh, no. Isn't that something? But I... I bet all our money, every last penny on, on number 16. And in very last place, number 16. Well, Cody, it appears that your incompetence has caused me to lose an entire handful of million dollar bills. Could you take it out of my holiday pay? <laughs> I, I've lost everything! No, you haven't, Reg. You've still got your health. And you can't put a price tag on that. There he is! Uh -huh. Oh, dear. Get him! He's 